Yeah? Are your ears broke? All right, well, come on. I need you to hear something. Are you good? All right. Hey, so, real quick. I had absolutely the coolest job in the planet. Don't know how I looked up and ended up here, but I get too stressed to lose for a living. Something I love, something I love to do more than probably anything in the planet, all right? But I've come enough of these camps, and I've interacted with enough athletes to know that the first like 20 minutes after the lunch break are the most crucial 20 minutes of your guys' camp. Because you make a decision when you come back if you're going to keep the same purposeful mindset that you had in the first session as you will for the rest of the day. And I can tell by body language on some of you guys that y'all just made a decision that you're just going to clock watch. And that's unfortunate. All right? And I got the blessing of talking to the UNI team the other day. Talking about a guy, I never even want to stay tired, guys. I don't have this long list of credentials. I just love wrestling. I love learning. I love teaching. I love getting around people that have the same mindset as me. All right? I just ask people that are smarter than me what do I need to do to be the best coach in the country. They tell me, and I go do it. All right? That's kind of how I lucked up and ended up with this job. But I also understand that some things in your life, you're a tenant. And a tenant means you're paying somebody else for the rights to use whatever, right? She's like an apartment. You don't own an apartment. When you buy a house, you own that house. There's a lot more responsibility that comes with it. All right? And a lot of you guys right now are happy being tenants. And this is what I talked to you and I guys about the other day. I'm 42 years old. I got two grandkids. There's some things in my life I'm still a tenant on. And when you're a tenant, you're just waiting for the world to kind of poke you and say, hey, it's time to do this. It's time to go do that. When you're the landlord, you're full ownership of everything you're doing. And right now, some of you guys aren't taking ownership of today. And the growth of today is, the, the goal for today is growth. All right? And if you're worried about when we're going to get done, you're not growing. When you're worried about other than what's in front of you and being 100% engaged, you will not get the maximum amount of growth out of it. Hey, and some of you guys are, some of you guys aren't. And some of you guys are going to really chase greatness for the rest of your life and come close with it. Some of you guys might even achieve it. All right? And then some of you guys are just going to be okay being mediocre. And you're going to be a tenant for the rest of your life. So make a decision right now. Am I going to be a tenant for the rest of today? Am I going to be a landlord? I'm going to own it and I'm going to squeeze every ounce of every position I can out. All right? And then you just operate on that premise for the rest of your life. And then it's easy to chase greatness. And it's easy to kind of build exactly what you want to do for the rest of your life. All right? This is like don't hang out with a bad crowd. If we got to have that talk, then that's, you're, you're a little bit further off. You guys are here on Saturday when a lot of people are just taking that last weekend before the season starts. And you guys are into working. So use the life out of it. Make the best of it. Some of you guys can stop being tenants right now. Landlords, own it. Get back to work. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.